Hey everyone, and welcome or welcome back to my channel. If you haven't already, please subscribe down below for interesting new content every Tuesday and Friday. In today's video, I'm going to be giving my favorite recipe for a delicious gluten-free and vegetarian breakfast burrito. It's quick, it's easy, and it only takes probably like 20 minutes total. Check it out and let me know in the comments down below what you think. First, we're going to start out by cutting up some raw veggies that we want to include in our scrambled egg mixture. Personally, I really like to add broccoli, red bell pepper, and onion, but you could also try out some different things like mushrooms or something else instead. This technique that I'm using to cut my onion is one that I talked about in my other video, and you should definitely check it out. Here's what the veggies look like when I'm done. Try to have a good amount. Then we're going to put some olive oil in a pan and turn it on to medium low heat. Once the olive oil heats up, go ahead and dump all of your fresh veggies into the pan to start cooking. Make sure to stir them up frequently to make sure that they're evenly coated in olive oil and they don't get too burnt on any one side. While those cook, we can get started on our egg mixture. Personally, for two burritos, I like to use two large eggs and I just go ahead and crack them into a bowl. Then I add milk. In this video, I'm using skim milk, but usually I would prefer whole milk. You could also use a milk substitute if you want. Then I season with salt and pepper. Finally, whisk your eggs together until the mixture is smooth. When you feel like the veggies are done, Put a little hole in the middle of them for space for your eggs. Then add a bit more olive oil and go ahead and pour the rest of your egg mixture in. Stir the egg mixture frequently until the eggs are cooked all throughout. This could normally take like one, two, three minutes. After they've cooked for a while, go ahead and add some shredded cheese of your choice to the top of your egg mixture. Then stir until the cheese is melted and gooey. This is what my egg mixture looks like when I'm all done. Now it's time to put together the burritos. These are the tortillas that I like to use. They're really good and taste just like normal tortillas. First, I add a base layer of spinach, just because I like to have a little bit of fresh greenery in my breakfast burrito. After that, I put Clint's Texas salsa, which is good because it's a little spicy, and I just fully cover the spinach with however much I want. This is really to taste. I prefer a spicier burrito, but if you like milder, you don't have to put as much as I do. Finally, I put a couple of hefty scoops of my egg mixture on top. I like it to be really full, so I put a lot, but you can put however much you choose. This is what it looks like when I'm done. Also, here is me struggling to wrap it, but um, it's worth it. <laughs> All right, here is me making one for my mom. The reason it's smaller is just because she typically can't eat as much in one sitting as I can, 
Um, and also I use paste salsa instead of Clint's just because she doesn't like it as spicy, but she still likes the tomatoey flavor. Also, I think it's important to talk about, I think it would be a really good addition if I put some avocado or black beans in this as well, but this is just me using whatever we have at hand. So this is the finished product and honestly, it tasted amazing. So yeah, that is my super tasty, low calorie, high protein, gluten free and vegetarian breakfast burrito. I hope you try it out and I bet you'll love it. As always, please make sure to like and subscribe and leave a comment down below with what you think I should cook next. Also, if you try my recipe and like it, please let me know in the comments. That's all and I'll see you next week. Bye!